Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about digital painting in Adobe Photoshop CC. We will talk about digital painting from scratch in Adobe Photoshop CC using my favorite style of painting. We will create very summary art using impressionist style of painting. I love everything about impressionist style of painting. It's all about outdoor painting. It's all about bright colors. It's all about uh, the light. It's all about what do you feel in your heart. So I decided to, decided to paint my uh, very summary art, a uh, slice of watermelon in Adobe Photoshop CC using impressionist style of painting. I will be using Adobe Photoshop CC, of course, Wacom a Cintiq and also I will be using um, Kyle Webster's brushes I downloaded from Adobe site. Uh, after I downloaded Kyle's brushes I spent some time trying every single brush. I love the, those brushes a lot and I organized my favorite brushes by folder. So let me show to you example. Today I will be uh, uh, creating my art using impressionist um, style of painting. I created my main folder and named this folder my favorite impressionist brushes and I have also two subfolders background brushes and my main brushes. All those brushes are, are Kyle Webster brushes all impressionist, impressionist brushes. So now in my painting I will have quick access to all my favorite brushes. I highly recommend you to start organizing your brushes in Adobe Photoshop CC. Also, I have created uh, my simple document and I have two layers right now. I will select my um, canvas layer. I will highlight my canvas layer. I will create a new layer and I will rename this layer to watermelon one layer W1. I will use my paintbrush from my favorite impressionist brushes folder and I will use a bright red color. So I will uh, bring down size of my brush and I will start paint over my watermelon. Uh, do not try to apply big uh, brush stroke to cover entire uh, surf surface in same uh, in one time. Um, try to apply small uh, brush strokes, short uh, brush strokes. And guys, please don't um, stress about a uh, wide uh, gaps uh, between your brush strokes. You will cover those gaps uh, with um, another layers um, of another colors. Um, in impressionist style of painting we are not mixing uh, colors in our palette. Basically we are applying um, color to our um, canvas directly from our um, tubes. So uh, same in here. Uh, you will cover all those gaps uh, with another layers. I will bring down size of my brush and I will continue paint over this side of my watermelon, just like that. Now I will create another layer. I will rename this layer to watermelon 2, W2. I will use a uh, very bright yellow colors, just like that. And I will paint over my uh, watermelon. I can make my brush size bigger. And I will apply a few brush strokes with a yellow color, just like that. And here, and because I'm using separate layers, I can bring down opacity of this layer as well, just like that. Now I will create another layer. I will rename it to watermelon tree, W3, and I will use a white color to paint over my watermelon just like that. Uh, very short brush strokes just like that. Now guys I will create a new layer. If you will ask me why I'm creating so many layers. Guys I love having full control over my painting. So I'm creating different layers 
I'm create I'm using many I use many many different uh, layers just because example if uh, one hour two hours ten hours later I will decide to remove some of my uh, brush strokes I will not go through um, complications to mask out some part of my image or something like that I simply I will simply delete my layer and voila so now I will create a new empty layer I will rename it to watermelon 4 W4 I will use a bright col green color just like that and I will make my size size of my brush smaller and I will paint over my watermelon small short brush stroke release your hand uh, brush stroke release your hand just like that now I will create another layer and I will name this layer uh, watermelon 5 I will use darker shade of same color and I will paint over this part of my watermelon just like that and I can bring down opacity of this layer as well I will switch to very bright yellow color and I will apply a few splashes of um, red color or yellow color I'm sorry just like that I don't need my sketch layer anymore so I will hide it no it's too early <laughs> I will um, leave it as it is and I will create another layer I will rename this layer to um, watermelon um, 6 W6 layer I will switch to white color and I will paint over my watermelon here you can see it just like that what I will do I will bring down opposite of my sketch layer just like that and I will continue working on my watermelon painting just like this now I will create new empty layer I will rename it to watermelon 7 W7 I will use light a uh, color uh, light shade of green color just like that something between white and uh, green color light green color somewhere between and I will paint over my watermelon just like that I will increase size of my brush and I will continue working on my painting guys don't overthink about um, what brush you're supposed to use what brush stroke you're supp supposed to apply guys just paint just paint now I will delete uh, I will hide my sketch layer just like that very beautiful watermelon right and I will create a new layer I will rename it to watermelon watermel, watermelon 8 W8 I will use a white color with smaller size of my brush just like that I will paint over my watermelon I will specify some age of my watermelon just like that beautiful right also I will increase size of my brush and I will apply a splash of a white color here maybe just like that maybe here and here what I will do now guys I will create a new empty layer I will rename it to W9 I will use darker shade of green color with smaller size of my brush I will specify ages of my uh, watermelon bottom part of my watermelon just like this short brush stroke release your hand small brush stroke short brush stroke and release your hand just like that beautiful and again because I am using separate layers I can bring down opacity of this particular layer just like that now I will create a new layer I will rename it to W10 I will use darker shade of green color almost black 
and I will create seeds for our watermelon. And here, and maybe one more, just like that. Using a um, white color, I will paint, I will apply a few brush strokes next to my uh, seeds, just like that. And now, I will create empty layer below my um, seeds layer. <coughs> Excuse me seeds layer and I will rename this layer to W11 I will use a um, darker uh, shade of red color I will uh, apply few brush strokes around my seat so I'm kind of creating 3d dimension like my seat supposed to be inside of water well not floating around Just like that, and again, because I'm uh, using a separate layer, I will bring down opacity to this layer. So, our slice of watermelon is ready. Uh, I have many layers, and I will select all my watermelon layers. I will click on create a new group, and voila, I merge all my watermelon layers in same group so I will rename this group to watermelon and voila I have organized my layers if I if I will expand my watermelon uh, group you will see all my layers now I will select I will highlight my canvas layer I will create a new layer I will rename this layer to the table and yes, now we will create our table because it's summertime. We will eat our watermelon outside with our friends or family or family and friends together. So I will be using same brush with bigger size and I will use a very bright yellow color because again, it's summer. And I will paint my table just like that. You can switch be between bigger and smaller sizes of your brush at any time. You're not committed to use one uh, size of your brush all the time. I will bring down size of my brush just like that and I will paint over my watermelon edges. Just like this. And now, guys, let me fix edges of my table, just like that. Maybe something like this. Yes, I like it more. I will create a new layer on top of my uh, table layer. I will rename it to table number two. And I will use same color, but with darker shade, I will create... Um, shadow under my watermelon and again because I created shadow using my separate layer I will bring down opacity of this layer just like that so what about the sky just a second I will select my canvas layer I will create a new layer I will rename it to the sky I will be using same brush but with light blue color maybe a bigger size of my brush just like that and I will paint my sky just like this nothing is too complicated guys I will bring size down beautiful and voila so guys our beautiful very summery slice of watermelon was created in Adobe Photoshop CC now you can uh, save your image you can print out your image you can use your image in many ways in any ways you want to but before that the last step 
I will select my top layer, my watermelon group. I will create a new layer. I will switch to another brush, hard round. You can use any brush you are more comfortable with. I will switch to the white color. I will bring down size for my brush, just like that. And I will sign my picture, my image, because I'm very proud of my creation. I love my uh, watermelon. I love my art. So I will sign it. Victoria Pavlov. Now I'm officially done with this image. So guys, thank you so much for being with me. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. Also, I would like to ask you, if you will create anything after my tutorial, just share your creation with me. Share your um, creation on Twitter, on Instagram, and tag me um, with your, in your post. Um, my Twitter is Victoria underscore Pavlov and my Instagram Victoria Pavlov Art. Thank you guys. Cannot wait to see what you will create. See you later. Bye.